When we were lounging in his hot spring spa, I asked Bernie about other hot springs, like the famous Ein Suchna resort in Cairo, Egypt, that has been a hot spot for tourists since the time of the pharaohs. I had read a report by the World Bank from the 1960s, while Egypt was using Russian money to build the ecologically disruptive Aswan High Dam up the Nile for hydropower, and the paper was evaluating the potential for Egypt to meet its growing power needs with geothermal power, since it sits on a tectonic plate. The report concluded sadly that the steam needed was found too deep for the venture to be economical, and the hot springs nearer the surface weren't hot enough. Bernie said, my operation is living proof that it can work, absolutely. But despite all the visitors we have here and all the talks I give, this simple technology is really hard to get adopted. And I mean, we've refined it. But the concept of organic cycle engines isn't exactly new. No. In fact, as Science Daily reported some years ago, quote, organic Rankine cycle or ORC development started in the 1850s and followed the development of steam engines. A few small pure play companies were perseverant enough, however, to turn the ORC niche into a commercial success, end quote. Uh, that's the 1850s. Uh, seeing this made me realize that when I was a grad student living at the LA Echo Village near downtown LA, we could have been using low-grade geothermal power to provide electricity and hot water to our entire apartment complex, hell, to a, a substantial part of the city, since the 1850s, when Los Angeles County was established after California was ceded to the U.S. when the Mexican-American War ended in 1848. Our urban Echo Village apartment in the early 1900s was actually the hotel for the Bimini bathhouse where Charlie Chaplin and Douglas Fairbanks and other movie stars and politicians used to bathe and stay. It sits above the geothermal hot springs that once created the famous Bimini Baths, which was the terminal destination for the once famous red car electric trolley featured in the Disney movie Who Framed Roger Rabbit. But like the red car, those baths were closed down in the 1950s when the racist white owners were no longer able to legally keep blacks out at the beginning of the civil rights movement. To keep the area underdeveloped, as white flight began from the city to the suburbs, the hot springs were completely plugged with cement. Still, the technology is here, and it's well developed today, and the geothermal hot water to make clean electricity, and of course domestic and commercial hot water, will always be there, and everywhere else where the perpetual magma of the Earth's mantle comes close to the surface. And even where it isn't close, it isn't any harder to get than oil. You don't believe me? 